got it going on. I know right? I got it going on. Yo, what up? How y'all doing, family? Yeah, it's Saturday, so I got some news to bring to you. You know, um, I don't know what's going on with these damn pastors out here, but they've been out here wilding the fuck out, okay, with the infidelities and, you know, messing with the little minors and the children and stuff like that right there. You know, and this story right here is no different because this is the second story that has happened in South Carolina this week or whatever. I'll actually bring you the first story, um... You know about another pastor or whatnot but this one right here you know this just happened you know just 24 hours ago okay so it hasn't really hit the mainstream and stuff and um like i say i just wanted to go ahead and be the one to tell y'all you know these motherfuckers out here living real foul and they living real trifling and stuff and uh, they getting real close to the children and the kids and um you know all the dang on you know groom them to do you know the the unthinkable, okay? And you know, y'all motherfuckers need to get y'all ass swooped. Y'all motherfuckers, y'all know what the hell y'all doing, okay? You know, and you got to be careful who you, you know, receiving the word from, okay? You got to be careful who you're receiving your teachings and stuff from because, you know, it's a whole lot of daggone devils in the blue suits, okay? You know, the blue robes or whatnot. So, you know, and some of them may be in the blue dress, okay? So it just depends, you know, Who's up there? And who you receiving the word from? You know, sometimes you know everybody that glitters ain't gold, and that's just one of them things when it comes to these pastors. And you know, a lot of times people put them on a high pedestal, and you know they turn out to be you know regular people. Okay, people gonna be people, and uh, you never know what the hell they're capable of, and you never know what's going on in their mind. You know, and some of them got sick, twisted minds and stuff, and they hide behind the damn gospel. Okay, you know. It's just one of the motherfucking situations, okay? So here we are in Spartanburg, South Carolina. Yes, the Special Victims Unit arrested a pastor on Friday afternoon for committing two child sex crimes, okay? So yes, Lorenzo Renard, Washington, 47-year-old of Lexington, South Carolina, was arrested, you know, after a dormant high school student pretty much came forth and said that, you know, at, after a booster club or at a booster club event or whatever, he pretty much tried to make his move on her and, you know, and that's when he, he committed the sexual assault or whatnot, allegedly, and all that. So, they pretty much uh, said this all took place at the after hours after hour school event. So, I'm assuming probably at like a basketball game or a football game or something like that. You know, where you got the students there doing concessions and stuff, you know. But, you know, it's one of those things, like, you, you really have to be mindful whenever you have uh, adult males around young females and things or whatnot. Like, you really have to be mindful. I used to be a coach, and then, you know, I would make sure that I was not in the vicinity or there was always another person in the room whenever a female student was around me because I didn't want to be put in that motherfucking type of situation or whatever. Now, I don't know if this is an isolated event or did this take place, you know, you know, in in front of every damn body. I'm not quite so sure, but all I know is your ass did something because this damn girl would not be coming for the damn blast your ass the way that she is, okay? Okay, so the girl told the school officials what happened, and the officials immediately notified the law enforcement. The sheriff's office said uh, Washington was told that he could not attend any more school events while the investigation was, be was being conducted, okay? So... Yeah, you don't need to be around no damn kids because right now your ass is, you know, looking real crazy out this motherfucker, okay? Looking real crazy, okay? You know, and it kind of sucks because you're actually, actually a handsome dude, and you know, until you open your damn mouth or whatnot, and I seen them damn teeth or whatnot, you know, looking the way they motherfucking looking, okay? Like you can open up a motherfucking can of damn Del Monte goddamn peaches or something, okay? Anywho... Like I say, uh, dude, you was wrong to say, uh, grooming them girls the way you was doing or whatnot to make your damn move. And who else have you damn violated or whatnot, okay? Who else have you motherfucking violated, okay? Anywho, so the victim gave investigators um, a detailed statement about what had happened or whatnot. So, you know, he pretty much gave his side and, you know, 
they wanted to do a second interview and stuff, but he pretty much had declined or whatnot because, or they they canceled the interview. He canceled the interview, you know, because he's he's claiming that he's innocent in this particular situation, right here. Okay, um, but I'm like, dude, the girl ain't just coming forth saying that you you that you did some things and you didn't do something. Okay, like why would she have any reason to lie on you, the pastor? Okay, why would she have any reason to lie on you, the pastor? Okay, but what is she getting out of this situation? Okay, it's not like she's an adult where she can kind of, you know, whatever. I don't know. I, I just think that you probably are looked at in a high regard or whatever. So I don't think that she would try to bring you down to some things wouldn't that have uh, taken place. You know, something wouldn't have went down. Okay, so. Like I say, I'm holding your motherfucking ass accountable, and you you gonna have to own this shit, okay? Don't be trying to deny it like you is or whatever. Don't be trying to damn deny it, okay? Investigators met with the magistrate who was uh, who approved warrants for third degree criminal sexual assault with a minor and second degree attempted criminal sexual assault with a minor, okay? Washington was arrested Friday uh, in Greenville County, according to the sheriff's office. During an interview with the investigators, Washington continued to deny the allegations, okay? So, like I say, you better hope your ass is lawyered the fuck up because, like I say, they got you hemmed all the way up. And the girls, like I say, I I don't see why these teenage girls would try to bring down you, you know what I'm saying? You being a man of God or whatever, you know, and like I said, you being looked at in a high regard. So, your ass did something, okay? So, you're going to have to own this shit, like I said before, okay? Anywho, Washington is currently a pastor of, uh, of a church in Aiken County. He used to be a pastor of churches in Gramlin and Newberry County as well. So, like I say, you've been skipping yourself around and down, you know, church to church to church or whatnot. Ain't no telling who else you know you done dang gonna touch and agree the fuck with, okay? Anywho, he was taken to Spartanburg County Detention Center. Uh, he was charged and listed on the detention center's website as a third degree criminal sexual assault with a minor with uh, ages 14 to 16 years old and second degree, like I say, criminal uh, sexual conduct with minors under the age of 16. Um, he had a hearing this morning, okay, and the judge set his bond at $20,000. He will have a, um, he will have GPS monitoring and according, uh, that is according to the magistrate, okay? So, um, what else is going on here? So, okay, this is what the student said. A dormant student recently shared with the administration that she was assaulted prior to the athletic event. We immediately contacted law enforcement and, trusp uh, and trespassed the suspect, Lorenzo Washington, from all District uh, 6 property. Washington was a member of the Booster Club for three years. The uh, District 6 will continue to cooperate with law enforcement, uh, and they are still investigating this whole entire situation that's going on here. He is currently a pastor of Mountain Zion Hill. Mount, uh, not, not Mountain Zion Hill. Mount Hill Missionary Baptist Church. I said that wrong. Mount Hill Missionary Baptist Church in Aiken. He is a former pastor of Mount Zion Baptist Church of Grambling. So I was mixing up the two. I'm sorry about that. And uh, Spartanburg County. He also served as a pastor in Newberry, like I said before. So I just want to give y'all the specifics on the churches and things that he is, like I said, touched and motherfucking agreed with. Um, do. Like I said, you better be lawyered all the way to hell up because they coming for your neck or whatnot. And um, I'm pretty sure, you know, some of your congregation people are going to back you up and everything like that. But it looks to me like you got a nice, wholesome family or whatever. It sucks that you even, you know, put yourself in a situation like that. And now, you know, they all got egg on their face and they having to deal with all this type of backlash because you couldn't damn keep your motherfucking hands and stuff to yourself. Like, I've never understood what the fuck a damn grown-ass person wants with a damn teenager or whatever. Like, what, what the fuck? 
Like, come on now. You got something sick and motherfucking twisted in your head, and you need to damn go get some motherfucking help, dude. That's just really all there is to it, okay? That's just really all there is to it. Don't go to Miss Iyala. You know, she can't fix your damn life. You need to go sit down with a fucking licensed therapist or whatnot so they can help your motherfucking ass, okay? Because this makes absolutely no sense that you would even touch or even, you know what I'm saying, try to approach or whatever a young lady like this because I'm going to stick by, like I say, what I said before. There's no reason that these uh, young girls will be coming forth saying that you've done something and you've been looked at in such a high regard, okay? You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I don't understand why they, what they would be gaining out of the situation. So, okay, so your motherfucking ass did it, alright? So that's all I really got to say about that. Y'all let me know what y'all think. I just wanted to bring y'all a little bit of the news that's been going on out here in Spartanburg, South Carolina. It just sucks because I'm a damn Carolina boy, but I'm from North Carolina. But hell, some of them motherfuckers is crooked up there as well. So, like I say, y'all let me know what y'all think about this. And uh, if you have not, hit that motherfucking subscribe button. And, uh, I love you all. Love you all. Bye. <laughs>